was a student here at Fuller. I was in a, a really the darkest, very, very darkest season of my whole life. And uh, I wasn't sure that um, that I would survive it. And I wasn't sure that I uh, was intending to even uh, do anything other than uh, bring my life to an end, in fact. There was a set of friends that decided that they were going to invite some friends to Thanksgiving. So they invited me to their home for Thanksgiving. And I wasn't sure that I would be alive at Thanksgiving. But I said yes to the invitation, and they knew that I didn't have a car to get where they were going, so they said, oh, well, come and get me, which then became another uh, sort of commitment to the whole thing. And I remember um, going in through the back door and being amazed that in the pantry, just off the kitchen in this little tiny house, was a whole array of food that had been being prepared that week for this meal of probably 10 or 15 people. And I stood just amazed in this little room with all these different dishes that have been prepared because clearly they had been able to project and imagine a meal with people at a time when I couldn't imagine that I was going to be there the alone that I was preparing food for a feast like this. And I, I felt like it was the beginning of several things that happened that day that just tilted me from utter despair to a capacity to reimagine mm -hmm. a future again. Mm -hmm. And it all happened in this very hospitable, but just very gracious, lovely, but, you know, really, in that sense, um, common sort of way, but was a way that was, for me, unimaginable at the time. And so it was like an awakening of realizing that the hospitality <laughs> changed my life mm -hmm. and I actually call that couple every Thanksgiving mm -hmm. um, to thank them that I'm alive and that I'm alive really a lot because of their hospitality. Mm -hmm.